In a damning release of evidence against U.S. cyclist Lance Armstrong and his team, the United States Anti-Doping Agency accused Armstrong's U.S. postal cycling team of running the most sophisticated doping program in the history of the sport. To make matters worse for Armstrong, his trusted lieutenant George Hincapi and 10 other former teammates have admitted to using performance-enhancing drugs. Some have gone so far as to say that Armstrong put pressure on teammates to dope. 39-year-old George Hincapi, who rode alongside Armstrong in each of his seven Tour de France wins, released a statement on Wednesday confessing that he cheated while he was riding with Armstrong. Meanwhile, the U.S. ADA plans to send the report to the International Cycling Union, the World Anti-Doping Agency and the World Trialathon Corporation before making it available on its website. It said that the path Armstrong chose to pursue his goal ran far outside the rules it accuses him of depending on performance-enhancing drugs to fuel his victories more ruthlessly, to expect and to require that his teammates do the same. Just the overwhelming evidence <laughs> and the different categories of evidence, whether it's eyewitness testimony, whether it's firsthand direct admissions that Lance Armstrong said and the others on the conspiracy said, um, the scientific documents that are there, the financial records, the emails, it paints an undeniable web of, of unfortunately the deepest and the, and, the, and the most sophisticated professionalized drug program that we've ever seen a team run. The process is completely rigged. I don't care what Travis Tigert says, you can choose only from USADA approved arbitrators, number one. So you know that you're gonna get at least two against you. And as I told Judge Sparks at the time, the Christians uh, dealing with the Lions in Rome had a better record than athletes have when they arbitrate with USADA.